Good morning, everybody. Uh, in today's uh, presentation, we will talk about the uh, auto scheduling process. As as everybody knows, we talk about the manual scheduling process in our last pre presentation on manual scheduling. There we talk about how we can manipulate the scheduling workflow and uh, uh, and change the auto uh, and uh, how to add the manual uh, seated. Uh, scheduling workflow in the order line process to make the scheduling manual. In today's, we talk about scheduling and the auto scheduling. We will not talk about uh, anything else. So, what is scheduling? The scheduling feature of order management enables you to determine when item will be available to the customer. So, uh, when say available to customer means when it is ready to ship to the customer. Scheduling allows you to schedule the shipment or arrival of the order lines based on the availability in today's talk we will not talk about the atp or reservation we'll just talk about the scheduling scheduling uh, determine the warehouse for the order line if the warehouse is entered on the line manually or populated by based on some some rules say defaulting rules the scheduling action uses this uh, warehouse and the other scheduling results are based on it. However, if the scheduling is, is if the warehouse is blank, the scheduling action determines the best warehouse based on the sourcing rules. It determines schedule ship date, schedule arrival date, delivery lead time, and the shipping method. Apart from that, it also uh, make the uh, make uh, the line successfully it will also indicate that the line is success, successfully scheduled based on the visible underscore demand underscore underscore flag in the OE order lines all table if the scheduling is successful the value in this visible demand flag is y there are various ways to perform the auto scheduling one is the profile option uh, we set the profile option om auto schedule to y or we just go to the transaction type and uh, check the checkbox auto schedule or we can uh, right click on the order header or order line and and the, from the pop-up menu we can select the schedule uh, we have a workflow uh, in the workflow we have a activity name schedule uh, if uh, 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 that will also perform the scheduling and then we have a schedule order concurrent program also that will also do the scheduling. So we'll talk about all these things one at a time. So let's say we create a sales order. So now we have a So now this this box, which pop-up box, which is appearing in the front of order line, indicates the auto scheduling is on. I will tell you how it is, uh, how we can verify. So the scheduled ship date is uh, blank, and uh, system says the uh, ATP system says the available date is sixth. So now the moment I press this, it performs the save, and we have this date populated. So how this uh, scheduling action got triggered is because of we have a, this checkbox on which says uh, yes, yes you should do the auto scheduling now we will perform another action with this box off so let's close it say for save it so no the scheduling is has not been performed neither we have that uh, pop-up box appeared neither we have a schedule ship date when we save the uh, order line so let's say uh, now I have a six here now I save it since the auto scheduling uh, mm, is off I'm not uh, expecting schedule, schedule ship date so as it is off now let's use the third option to do the auto scheduling 
right click and then say schedule so doing so will schedule this line it will not schedule the line 2.1 here you can still say schedule is uh, blank and if I say examine schedule um, action code is blank here and here it's okay oh I'm sorry I think I'm checking the wrong field schedule. sorry schedule status code here it is scheduled and here It is still black. I'm sorry. This is. So it is still blank. So now let's go to the order header. And from here, you say schedule. So it will com schedule the complete order. So we are expecting line two one one should also be scheduled. So let's go there. See, it is there. So we learn about this menu option. Uh, sorry, the auto schedule menu checkbox. We learn about the right click when selecting the schedule from the uh, drop uh, drop down pop up box. Now uh, let's talk about the setup option which is available in the transaction type. So let's go to the setup, let's go to the transaction type, and let's go to the this thing. And I just make it the auto schedule yes. Uh, hold a second. So I just make it to the uh, I selected the auto schedule. Now let's create a order for the with the transaction type order. Now we have a auto off. So let's close it. Now we have a auto schedule is checked, and. Um, I don't have a, okay let me create the order so this is for standard so we have a checkbox is off we go to the line so we have this pop-up available this indicate that auto scheduling is on now let's go to the tools so this is also selected so that means auto scheduling is on for this particular order and if I say one and um, save the order so we have a scheduling is on so now let's uh, do one thing let's come to the, this line uncheck it save it come back so this is still enabled okay so what I'm doing is I'm doing a test here let me go back close this order so I query the order back now I go to the line item and if I I don't see the auto schedule pop-up box here and uh, again this is also disabled so the only point I want to explain here is this thing is very much related to this the uh, the auto schedule checkbox in the transaction type so if we select this one it will also enable but the same thing we can enable this from here also so now let me make it um, enable so now So it's a populated so that means if we set the auto schedule equal to yes in the transaction type system will automatically make it auto scheduled but we can do it from here only so so this is another way how to perform the auto scheduling now let's do the last option which is the profile options so let me go to the profile
so I make it Y save it and let's create a order see this pop-up box appear that means scheduling is on let's say so this is also checked here so that means we have a correlation between the profile option and this auto schedule checkbox as well the correlation of the auto schedule in the transaction type to auto schedule so whenever we check the profile option auto schedule yes it will become yes and whenever we set the auto schedule in transaction type it become yes Let's save the order. So the schedule is popular. So today, in today's session, uh, I will not be able to cover the concurrent program schedule order to do the scheduling as I I am very near to the limit of 15 minutes of my YouTube uh, video upload. So we will talk about that some other time. So let me summarize. In today's uh, today's we will session talk about uh, what is scheduling and uh, what are the various ways to perform the auto scheduling. And then in the demo session, we did the auto scheduling with the various uh, options available, or you can say provided by the Oracle. So thanks, guys. I uh, will see you in the next session.